got here. We need to find a cure for tennis. Tennis is at a crossroads and there's huge uncertainty about what's coming next. In a few years, Federer, Nadal, Djokovic, and Serena Williams will have retired. The three greatest male players of all time and the greatest female player of all time will be gone, leaving us wondering who to love, who to root for, who will be the next icon, the next hero, who will transcend our sport like these players did. <laughs> Stefano Sissi Pass. He could be the savior. For a start, he looks a lot like Jesus. He films himself all the time so his fans can be with him on his creative journey. I watched his last documentary in Iceland. For God's sakes, it was longer than the Irishman. He has the woman's vote, but he has to be more consistent if he wants to be the Martin Scorsese of tennis. Daniel Medvedev, I like his craziness. I see him playing more the part of the villain. Remember at the US Open when he fed off the crowd booing him? The mean Russian threatening the free world. It's a perfect narrative. 40% of Hollywood movies still use it. He'll be big, but he's gotta change his haircut though, sooner rather than later. <laughs> Sasha Zverev, the kid has it all. The talent, the looks. He was on a path to a Federer type of stardom, but he lost himself along the way. Can he climb back up? It's all in there. Yeah, he's big on Instagram, but the refreshing candor he has with his fans doesn't create an aura of mystery. Heroes are mysterious. Look at him cuddling his poodle. That's not mysterious. That's more like the Real House Husbands of Monte Carlo. Dominic Team had a decent package to reach global stardom. That was before he dyed his hair blonde. You could do with some hair dye yourself. Hey buddy, you could do with some hair. Team's best shot at recognition is to beat Nadal in the finals of the French Open. Not sure how much love he's gonna get from doing that. Hardcore Nadal fans can be a bit spiteful. <laughs> Shapovalov and Ali Asim, the Canadian brothers from a different mother. I have high hopes for these two, but I'm a little worried that Harry and Meghan's move to Canada will cast a shadow on whatever they achieve. If you're not the biggest star in your own country, how can you be the biggest star in the world? Coco Goff, she is the answer to our prayers. She's destined to take off where Serena left off. I can already see signs in stadiums across the world with, we are the Coco Nation written on it. We are the Coco Nation. She will be our salvation. Tis the time for celebration. We are the Coco Nation.